so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, your film is a bilingual film. Tell me about that. Yes, it's en train in French. It's both French and English. It's about making connections and about a young man, francophone man, who just arrived in Toronto and is on his daily commute, feeling disconnected, feeling alienated because he doesn't know anyone. And he meets a, a, a Kenyan man who starts a little drumming session with him and it kind of breaks open his shell and he's then able to connect with other people. What inspired the creation of this film? Because it sounds like such a beautiful story about relationships and a random connection that kind of, you know, could possibly lead to something further. And it's quite the 40 second tease because your trailer is 40 seconds. And I'm watching it and I'm thinking, oh my God, what's going to happen next? So tell me about what inspired that story. Well, the film is based on the actual events of one of the directors. There's two, uh, Elaine Poon and Adrian Benson. Mm -hmm. So Adrian was living in France and didn't speak French very well and ended up having this little musical moment on the, on the subway while he was there. He really wanted to capture that, so he wrote a script about it, and this was about two years ago. Mm -hmm. So then he met Elaine, they started developing the script, and I thought it was so beautiful and so simple. It's a little moment, a slice of life mm -hmm. that uh, he had so eloquently captured. What's so interesting about the film is it's taking place in the subway. And oftentimes when we talk about the hustle and bustle of city life, we don't necessarily associate that with these human connections and these, these moments that could mean something. Yeah. And that's exactly what this film is about. So describe that relation between a, an important human connection in the middle of this busy subway in Toronto. One of the big things that keep us contained is our technology. When you go on the subway or you're walking down the street, you see so many people with their earphones and that plays a significant significant part in the film as well. It creates a bit of a barrier. It's a don't touch me or don't look at me signal to the rest of the world. In our film, the character of Method, the Kenyan man, he doesn't let that stop him from connecting, from reaching out. And I feel like the larger the city gets, the, the kind of stronger our barriers get. People who are not from Toronto come in and there's an openness, there's a willingness to communicate and to connect. And I feel like that's that's at the core of our film, is just you never know what's gonna happen if you just open yourself up a little bit, because more often than not, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And is that the message that you want viewers to take away from watching this film? The main theme of the film is that element of connecting, is that we pass by people all the time, and it's, you know, it's not to say that you have to make an eye contact with everybody or have a conversation with everybody, but the minute you look up, mm -hmm. You know, open your shoulders or just start looking around. You start noticing things, you start seeing people, and you actually start taking in the world around you instead of being entirely focused on what's happening on the inside. And I think that's, it's at the root of creating community. And when you live in a large city, it's very easy to feel isolated because there are so many people doing so many things around you. And if you're not part of this or part of that, you can kind of feel lonely or made to feel singled out. Especially a situation like transit, where you have people coming and going all the time in their own worlds. That element of surprise in, in just opening up is, I think, at the core of the film. Mm -hmm. 